What's up gamers? Today we're taking a look at something totally not Gundam or even mecha related, but it's a set of figures from Genshin Impact. I know some of you guys may also like this game. Currently it's like the only game that I play. I love this game and uh, just being like a, a busy dad, I just don't have time to play a lot of games, but this game I do really enjoy quite a bit. I just play on my phone. Anyway, I picked up this set for myself and I thought I would just might share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's go ahead and get into it first of all by getting rid of this awful wrapping on the outside because just all the reflections not helping us out. This is a set that's put out directly by MiHoYo as far as I understand. And this would be the Mondstadt set. So I can assume that there is going to be a Liwei and Inazuma set possibly in the future. I suppose we'll see. As far as I know I haven't seen any release date information about that here on the side of the box as well as the top. You can see all the characters included. So we have Klee, Diluc, Venti, Fischl, Kaye, Diona, uh. and then a secret one as well, which sort of looks like it's just gonna be uh, like the Animo Tower there in uh, Mondstadt. I don't know if it's gonna be like a figure of the tower or maybe an additional character is what I would hope that would be my ideal situation. But we have the official sticker here on the back and then just some kind of basic information there. By the perforation around on this box, you can see that this is meant to be just kind of a store display. But this would be a full set here. I don't know if they're gonna be secret ones, but you can see here we have got six individual boxes inside of here. And I think they should say, so like here's the venti one and it shows you all the rest of the ones that are available there. So we'll go through each one individually. Oh no. Oh, maybe they are secret because they all have venti on. Either that or I got a full box of venti. Hopefully that's not the case. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so yeah, they all have venti on the front of the box. Hopefully they're not all venti. <laughs> Nothing against the little guy, but I just hope that I actually do have a full set. I assume it will be, and I assume that we will also get the secret one in here as well, but it's, I suppose, not guaranteed, so let's go ahead and just pop it open. All right, so yeah, you can see here they are meant to be secret, but again, considering this is a full box, I would imagine it has the full set, but the inside wrapper there, and go ahead and pull that open. And it looks like official here for the first one. So there is going to be a little bit of assembly required. It looks like you do have a base and those will probably just all fit together to make a full row of all of them. It looks like basically just have the body, the head, and the base plate. So a lot of really nice detail around here on this. The painting on it looks all really good. You've got official there with Oz up on top of the head. So really cool. I do like the style of these, the style of these and I don't know if it's the same uh, artists who designed them, but the style does remind me a lot of the recent Hello Good Smile figures that I've been reviewing that I've been enjoying Honestly quite a lot. I do really like the style of them I don't know if you guys do as well, but very reminiscent anyway And I was guessing it goes like this with the plants in the background, but her hair is kind of getting in the way So I don't know if that's right. I'm gonna guess that maybe it's the opposite way and also these pins are metal which is nice so that I'm not worried about like those bending while trying to get this into place or anything if they were just like soft PVC plastic, but it should hold the figure pretty well on there then. So there we have it. There's Fischl, very nice. Ooh, and also we have something else here in the box. It's a little card here with a picture of Fischl. So just a picture of the kit. So that's a kind of interesting thing there to just, just be included in the box. Okay, next box, who's it going to be? Honestly, my favorite character out of the bunch included in this set, uh, I don't know, kind of hard to pick because I might just have to go with Dilu considering he was like my first DPS. And this one is in fact Venti. And here is how he's going to look as well as the card we have included there. Again, it's just kind of the same thing. But uh, this one, I think you could really turn him around kind of either way. I'm just going to have him with the plants in the background just for a little change of pace. But yeah, there he is with the little harp there. That looks cool. I like the little winking pose. Very nice. He just stood on one foot there and balance is quite nice. Again, just with the fact that being a metal rod actually holds the character quite well. Obviously being very top heavy with that massive head and, and giant hat on top of that, but it looks great. Next up, who is it going to be? Let's see. Well, I think the card is actually in here, so I don't need to open that. I can see just from the card. It's Diluc. So let's go ahead and open it up. That kind of spoils the surprise. I think I prefer to just not see the card 
and just open the bag here. So here's my man Diluca, which looks like we have a few pieces for him. The Venti was also just two pieces, just the body and head, but this one actually has a few. So let's go ahead and get him put together. All right, there he is. And I figured the plants are supposed to be in the background. And so there you go. So the number of pieces, basically one separate piece for the hair, a separate piece for the actual Claymore, which I kind of regret is not like a, like a five-star Claymore, like Wolf's Gravestone or something like that. I feel like probably would have been pretty cool, but just kind of like the generic Claymore there. And you have the separate little piece here for the little fire bird effect so really cool I do really like that I gotta say all right the question is when will we find the secret one wouldn't that be quite the coincidence if it just ha so happened that the very last one that we open up happens to be the secret one I kind of wish that that's the way that it would go but we'll have to see if it ends up working out that way or not okay so I'm not looking at the card because I don't want to spoil the surprise I just want to see what this is gonna be Aha, it's Klee herself. All right, here she is all put together. She's also like Venti, just standing on one foot here. And then you have the little bomb over here on the side as a little extra thing. Really nice painting, just on all of these. I just mentioned this before, but all the pre-painting, all the little details and everything on these look fantastic. Klee and Venti, for that matter, are two of the five-star characters that I actually don't have. So I would like to maybe get them at some point in the future uh, on a rerun. Tried pulling on their banners before and just wasn't lucky, but anyway. And I realized what probably should have been obvious earlier is that there's six boxes and there's six characters. So there actually is no guarantee that we will have one of the secret ones. It's very possible that we won't. So. So we might not be able to find out what the secret one is. Anyway, this one is either going to be Kaye, Diona, or one of the secret ones. And I saw the card briefly, I saw enough to see that it's blue, but if it's either, uh, you know, Kaya or Diona, it could be bluish. That or it could be maybe like Eula or something, that would be cool. And it looks like it's Kaye. Alright, here he is, and uh, looking very cool. So. Unfortunately, a character that I think maybe not a whole lot of people still use these days, but when you're starting off the game, I know he's a lot of people's like first DPS. I had him along with uh, D. Luke for like kind of my first two carries in the game. But the figure itself looks cool. Once again, he's just kind of, kind of a generic sword, but it looks nice there in the silver, like the little ice effect going on there at the bottom, also very cool. And it's kind of just a really nice dynamic pose there for the little guy. Now, the moment of truth, and I gotta say I'm a little bit torn. I really wanna know what the secret one is, but at the same same time not having Barbara uh, I just feel like I, that would be a little bit disappointing and I am realizing that I think I've been saying Diona the entire time instead of Barbara which it could be could be Diona but I think it's probably gonna be Barbara and we probably will just not know what the secret one is and it is it is in fact Barbara so the secret will remain a secret unless one of you guys know you can let me know down in the comment section below let's go ahead and get uh, Barbara all put together here all right there she is again just the painting on there especially like all the gold accents on all the characters look really nice they catch the light so nicely and then of course our little music note effect there looks really good got to have that with Barbara <laughs> but uh, she looks really nice. Now I really want to see how they're going to look all connected together now. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, guys, here's the full lineup. And the fact that they connect together makes that really nice for if you want to have them just like up on your shelf. You have them already in a way that you can just fit them together in a line up on your shelf. And it will be really nice when we can add even more of them. You can have multiple rows of them. It'll be really nice for any big fans of the game like myself. I can say it's probably going to be very difficult to resist buying any future sets. So as soon as any other future sets come out, you'll probably see them here on my channel as well. Now, I don't know if they're going to do like a volume two of Monstat. There's certainly characters that they could add into volume 2 so like Eula, Diona, Amber of course, Jean, I would really like a Jean one, Mona, Razor, Albedo, I mean there's definitely plenty to do another full set of six of just a part two of um, Mondstadt and then I mean you could get into Leeway and Inazuma so there's lots of sets that they could make and just the fact that they haven't announced a volume 2 or like another set of these quite yet means to me that it seems like they're coming out with these quite slow which means that they may not do more. I don't know if they're just gonna do like this one set and that's gonna kind of be it but hopefully they will do more and hopefully they come out you know sooner than later because if they wait too long they're gonna have even more and more and more and more characters. The characters are gonna be coming out too fast for them to keep up with making figures of all of them but what do you guys think of the set? Let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite of this set and which characters would you like to see uh, in later sets? Would you like to see like an Inazuma set or would you like to see a Monstat part two set? Let me know down in the comment section and thank you guys all so much for checking out the video today. I know this is maybe not something interesting for all of you but if you did then I imagine you probably are 
Genshin Impact fans like myself, so I thank you guys for checking out the video. Of course, if you'd like to like or subscribe, that would also be greatly appreciated. And until next time, guys, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.